Good afternoon to all of you. Where can you ever find a master of the house who would trouble or who would take the trouble to beg somebody a favor in behalf of his slave. It would be more logical or common for a slave to beg and die for his master. Besides, a slave is a nobody. He has no rights. My dear brothers and sisters, the master in today's gospel story happened to be not only a centurion, but a Roman centurion who was indeed a different man. He possessed nobler qualities than his fellow commanders. He had high respect for every person, a slave or not, Jew or non-Jew. Furthermore, he was a deeply religious man. It was no surprise then when his slave was dying. The centurion, without hesitation and in all humility, approached Jesus for help. The officer admitted that he was unworthy to have Jesus enter his home. He had a strong faith in Jesus, and he believed that Jesus' mere words were enough to heal his slave. Say the word and let my servant be healed. Thus, his slave was healed from a distance by the mere words of Jesus, not only or not by his actual presence in the house. My dear brothers and sisters, what does this mean for us? Let us remember that the slave was healed because of the genuine and steadfast faith of his master in Jesus. Does your profession hinder you from humbling yourself before the Lord? Do you seek God in faith to heal and to look over your loved ones. My dear brothers and sisters, faith is a gift from God that is meant not only to save us, but to help the lives of others too. Do you have somebody in mind right now to pray at this moment, be like the good centurion. Let us lower ourselves and intercede God in his or her, her behalf because that is also our way of expressing, professing, our deep faith in Jesus.